Is 2023 going to be, again, another year of falling prices in San Jose, California? Well, today we are going to look back at December of 2022 and talk a little bit about what to expect in the future. If we haven't met before, my name is Kristen Nielsen with Real Broker, and welcome to my channel. So most of what we're going to be looking at today is looking at November versus December of this past year of 2022. We'll do a little bit of digging into what happened happened in the year prior just for comparison's sake, but really I want to look at this data as accurately and currently as possible. So let's look at November versus December number of homes sold. For clarity, I broke this down to single family homes versus condos and townhomes. I'll make sure to mention if we're talking about one versus the other. Speaking of single family homes first, in November of 2022, we saw 278 homes sold versus December of the same year, we saw 257 homes sold. So we saw a little bit of a decrease month over month, but seasonally, this is pretty typical. And we'll dig in a little bit deeper in a minute here on how much these homes actually are selling for. In the condo and townhome space, November, there were 109 homes sold versus December, there were 115 homes sold. So pretty close to the same numbers and not a drastic change here. Now, as far as active homes on the market, in November of 2022, we saw single family home actives at 442 active listings, whereas in December 2022, we saw 326 active listings. Now let's look at condos and townhomes. In November, we saw 217 active listings, whereas December, we saw 144 homes active on the market. In the condo and townhome space, this is a really interesting piece of data because less homes were actually actively on the market, but more homes sold. This is really showing that it's a slightly stronger market for condos and townhomes right now. Maybe this is because of the affordability with the interest rate hikes, but we're seeing a lot more activity in this space. When we're looking at the single family homes, there were less homes on the market, about 120 to be exact, but only 20 less sales. So again, even though you have to dig a little bit deeper into this data, it's showing the strength in this market right now, and it's continuing to grow. Now let's talk about how much homes are selling for. Single family homes in November of 2022, the average sales price was $1,474,000, where in December, the average sales price was $1,413,000. This is a 4% decrease month over month. Now we do still have to look at how many homes actively were on the market and sold, less data to pull from, but we're still seeing a slight slump in list price and sales price. Now the real big number is going to come from this next data point. Comparing to a year prior in December of 2021, the average sales price was 1,579,000. So if you take December of this past year, compare it to December of 2021, that is a 10% decrease year over year. With the hefty price tags of Silicon Valley and the Bay Area, I honestly would say that this is a pretty healthy number based on some of the decreases that I'm hearing about nationwide. We're hearing of decreases year over year anywhere from 20 to 30% in the highly inflated markets. So the fact that we're only seeing a 10% decrease is a very, very strong bit of information. Now, as far as condos and townhomes go, November, 2022, average sales price was 801,000 versus December of 2022, average sales price was 793,000. So month over month, this is less than a 1% decrease. I really wouldn't look at this information too heavily heavily just because of how small the difference is. Now, if you back it up to December of 2021, the average sales price was 841,000 for condos and townhomes, which is a 5.6% decrease. Again, this is still lower than the national averages for the highly inflated market. So we are looking very healthy right now in the current market. We are still seeing a ton of negotiations on homes, especially with the interest rates still being where they are. 
we are still seeing interest rates slowly starting to come down, so it's getting better, but we don't actually know when it's going to improve drastically. What I will say is with this information, knowing that interest rates will likely dip down just a little bit more, maybe down to the fives by the end of 2023, hopefully even sooner than that, the competition will begin to start increasing as the months go on. Right now is this perfect little balance point of the homes still sitting on the market for a really long time compared to this time last year, but also less buyer pool in general. So you have less competition and way more space for negotiations. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking about moving to San Jose, you might wanna check out my other playlist here to talk about what else there is to know if you're planning a move here. All right, so let's talk about days on market. This basically means when a home goes on the market to the point that it goes into contract to sell. December, 2022, this past month, the average was 28 days on market. November of this last year, 31 days on market. And comparing to December of 2021, we saw 15 days on market. So two weeks doesn't sound like that much when I'm saying it out loud, but you would be amazed at how many sellers and people selling their homes are really worried about this number. A two week change year over year isn't drastic and we're still seeing a really, really strong time to sell. And the fact that it actually went down from November to December, which typically December is one of the highest points of the year, that is again another indicator of the market starting to slowly creep back. Homes are selling for 98.6% of the list price in this past month in December, whereas November, homes sold for 99.2%. So it's still dipping just a little bit. If you wanna look back to December of 2021, homes were selling for 109.3% of list price. If you were buying or were in the market back then, you know how chaotic it was. People were buying for way over what the market value was of a home. But the good news is in a few years, those homes are gonna bounce back and they're going to have a lot of equity. As I always say, this is a great time to buy, but may not be the perfect time for you. I just wanna make sure that you know there are options as far as 2-1 buy downs, seller credits, and other ways to really bring down that interest rate and buy at a time where the prices are a little low compared to maybe next year. If you're thinking about buying a home and flipping it in six to 12 months, I would say this probably isn't the time for that. But if you're looking to buy a home for the next three, five, seven years, then you will absolutely be happy that you did. Matter of fact, statistically in the Bay Area, homes double in value every 10 years. If you don't believe me, I have a graph to show you. But seriously, it is a great time to buy when you are ready to buy. If you have any interest in buying in California, definitely reach out to my team at the contact info below. If you wanna see more information about Silicon Valley or areas specifically, definitely subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.